Well, well, well. Good evening, my homies. Chort must die. He has to die. He has to die. And for that to happen... There's a few things we have to do. We have to get... The rest of these things. Uh, the rest of these mutagen regents. <clears throat> Fortunately, I know where they are. So we're going to jump right to it. Get the regents. Make the anti-chort gunk. And then we should be living the dream. Oh, they weigh something, huh? Well, we don't need these tools. I'll keep one set just for the lols. We've got... I think there's three places we have to get regents from. We found a bunch of them actually in short space. This is a pre-chort save. It's not too far off, but it is pre-chort. So, we've got one set outside the base, which we'll go and get now, and then we've got two sets inside kind of chorts area. Which is fine, just means we have to get in there without being seen. And then get back out. But that's okay. We can do that. We can do it. And then we get to do the little puzzle. The Chortian dialectic. And then we need to kill Chort. Which means we want to make sure we've got a bunch of stuff now unfortunately I spent all our resources <clears throat> on a making bear traps bear traps are not useful against Chort he doesn't move he doesn't move, he doesn't move Did that not blow up? What the hell was that? Honestly. You prime an explosive and it doesn't blow up. I've never seen that before. Not in a million years. Not in a billion years. Not in a trillion years. Not in a long time. Let's go. Go, go, go. Yoink. Two whole mutagens. That's what we're here for. I do kind of want to see what else is in here. A bunch of crap. And a bunch of crap. Uh oh. Not a chortling. Is it just one? Look, chortling. <laughs> Get out of here. They got real good damage resistance against that sigh. That doesn't bode well for chort. Uh oh. Okay, look. I didn't want to fight that guy. I didn't want to. I don't want to. I want to just sneak out. Pablez style. 
Do 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 Pablo style. Go go go. Good good. Right. Now we just need to sneak into the base. Yeah. Sneak into the base. However, I want to go to chor uh, to the shortest compound. I want to see if they've got any dynamite -he for sale. Or even just the components for making it. Because <clears throat> if we can't use traps against short, maybe we can just TNT spam him. He's not immune to stealth, which is an absolute godsend. No, wait, what am I talking about? He is immune to stealth. That's the opposite of a godsend. That's really bad. But I'm sure it'll be fine. His tentacles aren't immune to stealth, is what I meant. We can sneak past his tentacles, which means we should be able to destroy his mutagen tanks. I don't know what that's going to do, but presumably it's going to weaken him. Oh, Chortists! No TNT, huh? Well, I'll take all your explosives. Uh, I don't think mines are going to come in handy, but grenades might. I'll take your grenades. Is there anything else I want? Take your advanced patching kits. I'll take your advanced mechanical kits. I've learned my lesson on that one. And I'll take your crossbow bolts. Good, good. <clears throat> Carrying a bit much. Might as well uh, use these ab abilities. Um, have I got someone else's head? No. What can I drop? Well, I can repair our shoes. Repair our shoes. Maybe repair our balaclava. Repair our balaclava. <laughs> a little bit. I'm not going to go overboard with it. And then... What can I drop? What can I drop? Well, I plan on coming back here, so... Let's drop a bunch of stuff. I do plan on coming back here. With a whole bunch of shears, actually. Let's drop loads of stuff. Um... Short, 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 little, short, little, short. Right, let's go. <clears throat> we need to go back. We need to get our timers. Which will hopefully let us make a bunch of TNT. 
Not sure how many timers we've got. I think he's got four mutagen tankaroonies. Which means we need <clears throat> at least four timers. Pretty sure we've got at least three. I sure hope there's a fourth. I sure hope there's a fourth. I always go the wrong way. Not this time. The line must be drawn here. And then for killing Chort, I don't know. He's just got a bunch of tentacles. A bunch of shitty tentacles. And good job, right hands. I'll take Faceless Mass Fragment. Nice! These Rat Hounds are okay in my book. Look at that! Free XP! Without us having to kill Faceless. Perfect. Straight up perfect. <clears throat> you can't pickpocket those. You can only get them when they die. So that's really good. Um, Yeah, let's go see how many timers we've got. I really hope we've got more than three. I really, really hope we got more than three. Even if we just got four, it's okay. We have three. Shiza! They're what we need. Do we have any oxygen canisters kicking about? Doesn't look like it. We got a bunch of poison that isn't going to help us. Uh... Yeah, all this is crap. <clears throat> we need timers, goddammit. Timers. More specifically, we need one timer. One more timer. We can probably do it with explosives if we have to. Like regular explosives. There must be another timer kicking about somewhere. There must be. Maybe inside that robot base? The assembly line? That's literally all we need right now. I'll take those 10 EMP mines. I think they're mine. We're down one TNT. Just one. Let's go see if the Faceless have got any. I do love the Faceless.
Oh, faceless! I think they get pissy if they find me in stealth. Yeah, that's fair. <coughs> One dynamite is all we need. Um. Laura Baker, you're just no use. One dynamite. One TNT. Maybe what's his name has some. Um, Leo. Maybe Leo has some. Probably. He's like a, a junker guy. He's all about the junk. Picking up mushrooms in case we need to trade them with him. I mean, we just want one TNT timer. Hopefully he's got one. Or a TNT. Nice if we could just kill him and take all his stuff. But it don't work that way. Come on, Leo. Have a TNT, please. Have a timer. No. <clears throat> Leo, you had one job. Leo, you absolute mad lad. TNT! Oh, Leo, you lifesaver! I take it all back. I take it all back. Hopefully a TNT does enough damage to destroy those things. Why aren't we moving? must be a lot of enemies down there for us to have this much lag. We got the TNT! Which means we're now living the dream. Living a dream. Now, what do we want to bring? Anything? I'm going to bring this acid blob pistol.
I'm gonna bring a shield a meta. I've literally never used a shield a meta. If there was ever a time for it. Now would be that time. Bring all our health hypos. Bring all our healing items. In terms of crafting... I don't think we need much. In terms of ammo, bring those acid vials. Bring all those crossbow bullets if we can. I don't think we need anything else from here. Bring those ampules just in case. Bring those syringes just in case. Those thin mine cases, just in case. Yeah. And then what don't I really need to bring? I don't need no throwing nets. I don't know if caltrops are going to be helpful, but I do love a good caltrop. I don't know if flashbangs will be helpful, but I do love a good flashbang. Uh, we don't need those mushrooms. We need most of this stuff. I mean, we don't need these, but... They don't exactly weigh much. The only thing they weigh is heavily upon my mind. Um, I don't need EMP mines. And that's as good. Right. I think that's everything that we want to bring over. I know I said that and then I went right back, but that's because I really want a jackhammer. <clears throat> I don't want to be wasting my TNT anymore. I wish the faceless base was more useful. Like, you have to tread a very fine line to make the faceless not hate you. It'd be really nice if... their base was a bit more useful. I mean, it's nice them not attacking you, I guess. But it'd be even nicer if they had a shop, let's say. Let's say they just had a shop. I guess they don't care about worldly currency, but they could have their own currency, like Facians or something. <clears throat> Hope is we can get back to the chalk base without getting attacked. Then we can use our jackhammer to drill through that wall in the chalk base, which makes it so much easier to get where we want to be. So much easier. <clears throat> it brings us right outside, I think. Sort of. And then we might have to kill some chortlings. I don't want to, but we might have to. But we do have plenty of burrower traps. Which aren't useful for anything else. Because they're not going to help us fight chort. 
Chort, chort, chort. Chortle, chortle. Alright. The hope is we can sneak through here. Failing that, we'll just do two runs. <clears throat> we'll give it the old college try. Because sometimes the enemy don't spawn. They seem to live inside these holes and only sometimes come out. <laughs> Which is quite generous, really. Nice. We made it to Chortville. I just realised we might not have enough TNT to make these explosives. Depends how many you get when you craft. Oh, thank God, we did have enough. We did have enough. Right, we've got a 4 TNT. We don't need those dog crates. Now, we put those on the floor. Along with a bunch of other stuff. For now. I do like the idea of that shield emitter. <clears throat> Charge up our jackhammer. And we want to put all this stuff on the ground. That maybe the caltrops. We want to drop a whole bunch of crap. There we go. Now. <clears throat> Our mission now is to get the rest of these uh, mutagen parts, <clears throat> which is totally doable. Huh. Excellent. We don't need the jackhammer anymore. Now we're living the proverbial dream. All we need to do... Steal out of that locker without being seen. without being seen. <clears throat> without being seen. And this is where killing them might come into play. 
I might actually need to kill some of these. Which is annoying because they got loads of health. But there might be no escaping it. I don't know how fast they respawn. They're what we need. Do I really want to kill these guys? Ideally not, that's the thing. Ideally not. Okay. I got him. Now I just have to get the last set. I'm not leaving through this exit until that guy leaves. I should be able to force his hand. It's very important, otherwise we can't get back. Getting back is just as important as getting there. At least for now. Perfect. <clears throat> Perfect. Ooh. Now... Guess we hope I brought everything. I don't know if I bought the grenades. Ah, shit. That's the gate repaired. Kill that repair bot. It's got 160 health. Did I bring the grenades? No, I straight up didn't. Well, that's unfortunate. <clears throat> that's real unfortunate. I'm going to need to go all the way back. Ah, meld. <clears throat> hey, gamer. I appreciate it, man. I considered playing Hitman tonight just because you won't shut up about it. But then I thought, no, I need to beat this game so I can get peace of mind. Peace of mind, beating this game. Then I can get back on the Hitman. But, we're fighting the end boss. <clears throat> the presumptive end boss. <laughs> I know, man. I know. And I do have to beat Hitman before the 20th. I'm beating this first. Can't believe I forgot those grenades. <clears throat> I'm 
hoping we can kill this end boss, you know. If we can't, we're boned. But, everything's in our favour to an extent, except for the fact that he's the end boss. But if we ignore the fact that he's the end boss, everything's in our favour. <laughs> Later, man. I swear, you just come into the stream, say, play Hitman, and then leave. Which is fine. Which is fine. But that is all you do. <laughs> Each to their own. <clears throat> right. Let's lob a grenade. There may be grenades ahead. Do 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 do. Oh, did I really whiff the grenade? Come on, grenade. I believe in you. Yeah, I straight up whiffed it. That's fine. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Not gonna whiff it this time. Good, good. Oh, now we're back here. Back in Chortville. We want to grab these sons of bitches. And I think with those in hand one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. All the mutagens. Brilliant. Now we just need to get back home. For a semi-final, for a preparation phase. We need to work out how to make the mutagen. And then, we need to make the mutagen. And then, we live in the proverbial dream. That'll weaken short somehow. <clears throat> We've got TNT to blow up his mutagen tanks, which will hopefully weaken him even further. And uh, basically, we'll just be having a good time. Very cool. <clears throat> <clears throat> now comes the painful part. Which is figuring out how to make said mutagen.
Phew! I think I load them into that corner. That's pretty nice. <coughs> I should kill some chortlings for XP, really. But on the flip side, I have no real motivation to get XP right now. And shortlings are a pain in the ass. Do 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 do. Right. Now comes the really painful part. First up. <clears throat> I'm going to scan Extus 1 again just to make sure it hasn't changed. J Y Y E V 5 Y 0 Y H D 5 M 2 M 4 Y K W F P Q Q 7 L 3. Got it. Cool. Now. <clears throat> I need to scan the rest of these. Which is definitely not going to be annoying. And then I need to write them in my notepad file. <clears throat> Echo 1 is M2Y0 WF PQ Q7 L3 Minus QL minus UZ minus UG. <clears throat> I'll bring up the notepad file once I'm done because we're going to have to figure this out. That's Echo 1. <clears throat> We've already done a bunch of them yesterday, but we need to do the rest right now. This is Echo 2. Echo 2 is <coughs> QLWFMG minus D5. Then we've got Echo 4. Because I already did Echo 3 yesterday. Do -de 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 -de. Did Echo 3 yesterday. Let's do Echo 4. Echo 4 is G U Q L U G. No, Y O U G minus Y H minus V5 minus Q7. <clears throat> And I think I understand how this puzzle works, but I can't say for sure. Next up is Helicon 1. Which is UZ MG V5 something that my cursor's hovering over. M4 minus SC minus JY. Okay. Oh, what an ordeal! <clears throat> then we've got Helicon 2, I've already done. Helicon 3, I've already done. IO1. <clears throat> Okay. IO1 
is m2 u z m4 y e s c minus j y minus q7 minus u g minus m g. Good, good. I think we've got three to go. Three to go, three to go. I've done IO2, I've done IO3. We need to do Ovid 1. Okay. Ovid 1 is O Z V five Y K U G minus U Z Good <clears throat> Oh what an ordeal Ovid two I've already done we need to do Ovid 3 and Solus 1. Ovid 3 is JYYE Q7 WF V5 minus UG minus PQ. Good, good. Last one. Solus one. Solus one is M two G U Y O Y K Q seven minus Y E. Right. We have all the information we need. Here it is. This is all the information that we need. So, what we have to do <clears throat> is make this string out of these. Out of these. So, we know it starts with Ovid 3, right? Ovid 3 gives us that, which gives us J, Y, Y, E. Then we're looking for Q7, W, F. So we're looking for Q7, if we can find it. Where's Q7? Q7. Q7. No, we're not looking for Q7, I'm totally dumb. We're looking for a negative Q7. Negative Q7 is here. Is it anywhere else? No. I should do this in Notepad++. It's just gonna make life easier do, 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 do. because of that right so we want to get rid of this Q7 <coughs> we've actually got a bunch of stuff that gets rid of Q7 we want Q7 at the end as well. So we need to... So we've got this, which is what we want. 
JYYA. <clears throat> JYYE. Then we want. Let's find what we want and then we can strip out the rest. We want V5. YO. There is no V5 YO sitting together, which means that we have to do A V5 and then we have to do A Y O. God, this is going to be a right pain in the ass. <laughs> but Ovid 3 contains V5. So if after we put these in, we then get rid of YE and Q7, unfortunately we can't get rid of them in a one -er. No, not YE. We get rid of... Q7 and WF. But there's none that contains Q7, negative Q7 and negative WF as well. Which means... Means this is the right pain in the butt. Which one would come next? Ovid 3 is definitely first. If we use, ideally we want to strip out, but also add to the thing, right? So, let's see what we've currently got. So that currently gives us that. So then, What do we add next? Something that removes Q7. And ideally adds like yo. Is the one that removes Q7 and adds yo? No. Which means that we then have to put something in to strip out all the rest. This is a right pain in the ass. Definitely has to start with Ovid 3 because that's the only thing that has JY in it. JY, YE, V5. What has Yo in it? Solus 2, Ovid 2. IO3, IO2, got a bunch of them have Yo in it. Um, that's annoying. <coughs> it says don't worry about duplicates as well. So. I don't understand. I straight up don't understand. Let's wiki it up. The solution is different for each player, which is nice. Right. Look at this. Let's assume X plus 1 is this, right? 
Fair enough. Our Exodus one is this. But assuming it's that. The negative atoms are not present. Totally. Totally. So... Our actual one doesn't have the negatives. Right? <clears throat> W, Q, and A, X are not added to the end because they're already present in the sequence. Okay, so if they're already in the sequence, they don't get added. Got it. So we want, like, we need to add yo. So we've got these three in order, but we need to strip out these two, which we'll worry about later. But for now, we need to add yo. Ideally, without adding anything else or as little as possible. So that's YE. So let's say we added over two, maybe. Let's say we added over two, which is Say we add over two. That gives us JY, <coughs> YE, Q7, WF, no, minus WF. So WF is gone. Uh, V5, <coughs> Y E doesn't get added because it already exists. L three Q seven Yo. Right? And then we're starting to sort of sort of get there. We've got J Y Y E. We've got this O seven that we need to get rid of. Q seven. V five. We need to get rid of L three and why is Q7 in there twice? Did I write that down wrong? Possibly. Okay, so that's cool. So that's only adding L3YO. Because the Q7 was already in there. So then, what's next? YH. We can do YH. Well, Echo 3 is the only one it can be. Which gives us YE, Q7, V5, L. L3, YO, YH, L3 doesn't get added because it's already in there, D5, which means, all right, that needs uh, JY, so we've got JY, YE, that still needs got rid of, we've got V5, we've got L3, Y O Y H D five. So D five we actually want in there. Which means now the only things we've got in there that we don't want are this 
Q7 and this L3. But let's keep working forwards. M2. M2, M4, YK. Look at that. M2, M4, YK, WF. So we almost certainly want Helicon 3 next. <clears throat> Which gives us <sighs> JY, YE. It gets rid of the Q7. V5. It gets rid of the L3. YO, YH. D5, M2, M4, YK, WF, UG. Right? Now this is actually all correct. Look. We need it mapped up to this top line. It's actually all correct up to this point. So now we just need PQ, Q7, L3 and to get rid of UG. So we need PQ. PQ, Q7, L3. Echo 1 has PQ, Q7, L3. So I think if we did Echo 1 next, this is brutal, but if we did Echo 1 next, we would have J Y Y E V5 Y O Y H D5 M2 M4, YK, WF, it gets rid of the UG, then we would have M2, but it already exists, YO, but it already exists, WF, which <clears throat> annoyingly will stay, PQ, which annoyingly will stay, Q7, well, actually, no, the... WF won't stay. What am I talking about? myself lost. Let me start this again. Right. Y, uh, J, Y, Y, E, V5, Y, O, Y, H, D5, M2, M4, Y, K, W, F, and then it gets rid of the U, G, and then it adds... Uh, M2, which it doesn't add, YO, which it doesn't add, WF, which it doesn't add, PQ, which it does add, Q7, which it does add, L3, which it does add. <coughs> and that leaves us with... exactly what we want. Look at that. So it's Ovid 3, Ovid 2, Echo 3, Helicon 3, Echo 1. We did it. <clears throat> that puzzle's not that bad. It's a little bit of a head scratcher.
Nice. Now what does that actually mean for us? What that means is now we should maybe be able to create the thingy. We should be able to create Exodus 1. And isn't that what life's all about? And that should weaken short. And make our life pretty good. Now, I would love to carry all this stuff over. Except maybe the dog crates. There's no way we're going to be walk able to walk into the base with all this stuff. We can do multiple trips. The way I see it, we should walk into the boss fight as encumbered as possible. And then just drop it all. If it's going to be a tough fight, <clears throat> we need to take as much stuff as we can with us. We just need to transfer our entire arsenal down there. While this guy walks up here, I'll be right back. Okay, I have a drink. Next up comes... Getting up there with all this loot. Which will probably have to be done in two runs. Awfully ambitious of me to think I can do it in one. We're in the end game now. Get out of here, shortlings. No, don't come this way. That's the opposite of getting out of here. Ooh. Ooh. I need that guy to not be there. See, sometimes they go home. Do I just need to hang about for them to go home? I'm not sure what prompts it. 
Sometimes they will go into those containers. Those holes. I'm not sure what prompts it. <clears throat> Might be a timing based thing. Unclear. But they've let me get past. That's better. Because they keep their positions when you come back, so you want them as far away from the entrance as possible. <clears throat> and now, we should be able to make Exodus 1. Theoretically. Do I need to put them in storage? Aha! Uh -huh. Right! So it's Ovid 3. Uh huh. Then it's Ovid 2. Uh huh. Then it's Echo 3. Uh huh. Then it's Helicon 3. Uh huh. Then it's Echo 1. And that gives us J Y Y E V five Y O Y H D five M two M four Y K W F P Q Q seven L three, which is Exodus one. Create compound. Save, then inject it. Manufacturing agent, injecting agent. Toxicity detected in biomass, system unstable. I think that's good. I think that's what we want. I'm gonna reload. We'll do that after I brought all our gear here, just in case. Now. Let's drop off a bunch of stuff. I don't know why I brought all these crafting components. But they're not hurting anyone. <clears throat> right. Let's go back and get the rest of our stuff. And then... We're ready. Sort of. To take on short. <clears throat> we're as ready as we'll ever be. <coughs> Maybe. We're fairly ready. <clears throat> Did they go home? Mostly. Oh, you just know the chalk fight's going to be like nigh impossible. I can feel it in my bones, even with all these debuffs. <clears throat> I 
But we'll find out. Because now's the time for it. We have everything. Got a shit ton of meds. We've got a ton of ammo. We've got a ton of grenades. We've got some pointless equipment, but we might end up using this. Yeah. Pre chalk, let's replace that save. Let's inject the compound. Hey, Rain! I am at it again, and we're ready to take on the boss. I just did the most brutal puzzle ever. I'll show you my working. Look at that. Final boss, boss, boss. Yeah. At least of this area, which is the end boss. There's still the expansion. We had to work out how to make this formula by combining all these different regions. <clears throat> it was a right pain in the ass, but I did it. I did it. Something you'd only do if you were paid for it. I found it quite enjoyable, actually. But, what was the reward? The reward was I got to create this compound, and now I get to inject the compound. Which poisons the end boss. I don't actually know what it does. I don't know how it helps us. But I'm assuming it does help us, and I think we need every benefit we can get. I've also gone around and I've built us a bunch of TNTs. Not sure I can stealth my way through this one. Look, Rain, you can stealth your way through everything in life. Everything. I've brought way more than our carry capacity. We're going into this fight overcapacitated. Because once you go down there, you can't come back up. So my reasoning is... Combat doesn't start when we go down there, because we go down stealthed. So then I can drop all the gear, and then we'll be alright. But that way we've got way more than we should be able to carry, and we can just keep running back there and picking up more stuff if we need to. That's the theory. <sighs> pre chort let's do it. I've poisoned him. Alright, man. I wonder if he does different dialogue now that we've poisoned him. Let's find out. Well, so good to see you, Max. I'm not sure if I said that. I hope you've had a good day as well. Here he is, his chort. Looks like a bunch of his tentacles are dead. <clears throat> hey, I'll take his tentacles being dead. That's great. Mm -hmm. Short talks a bunch of smack. He says I wanted to eat someone else, but I guess you'll do.
In regards to the poison, uh huh, uh huh. It'll be of no use, you've but slowed us down. Look, slowing you down is all I need, short. For this insolence, you will suffer greatly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least I get extra dialogue. There are now three technicals instead of six. Yeah! Right, phase one. Run to this cabin. Slowly walk to this cabin. Drop off a bunch of stuff. Uh, this is my next level strap. Maybe carrying a bit too much. Sure. That'll do. Right. <clears throat> Next up, I want to take out these mutagen tanks. They've got 750 health. I don't remember there being shortling scanners here before. Come on, TNT. I don't remember there being shortling scanners. Definitely don't remember there being shortling sewers. <clears throat> Maybe I took too long dropping my gear. I really hope these work. Good. So you're going to check out the explosions. You losers. Ah. Okay, so they're still distracted by the explosions as well. That's really good. That's really, really good.
Easy does it. Easy does it. Oh no, we're good. We're good. <clears throat> right. I don't know what destroying those tanks did, but hopefully it did something. I don't appreciate the mouth of Chort hanging out there. It's a good job we're such a stealth god. Right. <clears throat> now, how do we deal with the actual son of a bitch himself? This is where I've got no idea what we're going to do. Destroying the tanks reduces and eliminates short and tentacles regeneration. He's got 3,000 health. Range on that spell just ain't just ain't high enough. I wonder what range the tentacles have got. I wonder how Chalk feels about these grenades. Oh, they move. Oh, that's cool. I thought extra tentacles spawned. Good. <clears throat> I thought these were extra tentacles, not these ones. Okay, okay, that's... That's a pretty big deal, actually. <clears throat> God damn it. I need us to not whiff these grenade throws. Considering this gas killed the short stuff on the um, on the outside, I would hope it'll do decent damage to these guys. Just don't whiff the throw, man. Just don't whiff it. Just once. 
feeling that I intentionally whiff it around the tentacles. No idea how I'm supposed to do this, but if I manage, you'll tip your hat. But don't you worry, I fully intend to manage. Unless these guys come back, that's going to be problematic. Can I hurt the tentacles? Yes. Can I stun the tentacles? Yes. Good. Good. Can I place mines on the tentacles? No. First up is that stupid Eye of Chort. I don't want to deal with him. These guys won't be spawning anymore, right? At least I can see on the floor where the tentacles show up. Totally. Oh, I just mined myself. As long as these demon things don't show up anymore. And I'm relatively happy. That means it's manageable. Do they always regen? No. New ones might spawn if some die. Sure hope they don't. Go away. Run to chort, you little loser. If I can kill all these extra guys, then I've got the whole map to myself. Then I can look, if I fight up here, I can fight one tentacle at a time, right? Take them out, and then wreck Chort. I don't even think Chort has any attacks. I don't think Chort has any attacks. If I can lure the tentacles away, <clears throat> then stealth up, and then get to Chort, and the tentacles don't see me, <clears throat> maybe, just maybe, I can kill Chort while his tentacles just hang out in the corner of the map. That's a total possibility. <coughs> Can't I line of sight tentacles from the hut I got my stuff in? <coughs> Maybe. Tentacles come back to life, but it should happen much slower with the tanks destroyed. Okay. That's good to know. I think if I can get the tentacles, like... Look, I can get one of them over there. Maybe I can line of sight them there. Or... Yeah, maybe here I could line of sight them all with grenades. But I was thinking, if I could lure the tentacles, like, over here, and then flashbang them, run away in stealth, they might just stay there. And if they do just stay there, then I can just go and kill Chort. Wouldn't that be great? What are these?
Oh, ammo types. I see, I see. That's right, I forgot I brought this acid gun. Um... Ooh, these guys really need to stop following me. Good. Hey, I might get my uh, oddities here. That'd be nice. Oh, chortling. Excellent. Come on, give me the oddities. I'll take that. Tumorous Chortling Brain. Now we are taking damage. But not that much damage, really. Filled tooth, those things get dental care. I guess so. Maybe it says... I don't know. Did it say filled tooth or did it say filed tooth? Look, Chort's seen me, but the tentacles haven't. There's an implication there. And the devourers haven't either. I don't like how Chort's doing so much damage, I'm going to be honest. Does he just do that every turn? If so, he's going to rapidly start killing me. Oh, Chort! Oh shit! Okay. How good is their perception? Not good enough. So, I lure them over here. I do my stealth thing. Oh shit, that's a scanner. I thought it was a uh, the other guy. Ah, uh, he resisted. Right, I have a plan. A deviously fiendish mischievous plan. <sighs> this damage from Chort is really starting to add up. Good job I brought, like, infinite medkits. <sighs> Die, you stupid scanner.
Wow, his damage is really starting to add up. What the hell? I may have just killed myself. I missed. Good. I think I just stunned the wrong one. Wow, they can pop up everywhere, huh? Can they be feared? Yeah. I wonder if they can be flashbanged. No. Well, it was worth a try. When I'm in combat, those other guys come after me, so I need to kill them. God, it's going to be real hard. Okay, I can damage Chort. He does bio damage. He does acid. He does mechanical. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that real interesting? Okay. <clears throat> I wonder what their respawns are actually like. And I wonder how much damage this does. Techno Sauron will die, it's just a matter of time and explosives. Well, I'd actually have that many explosives. I want to see that gas do damage.
does do damage, not a huge amount. That's okay. I know that gas lasts a long time. <clears throat> I really need to kill those mini short things, they're ruining my zen. The chortlings. That electric damage is brutal. Right. The hope is they hang out in that area and get gassed to death. At least, um, when Chort hits me with that electric stuff, it doesn't take me out of stealth. That'd be brutal. You gotta be grateful for small mercies. <laughs> These bio grenades are pretty good. Shame you can't make them normally, you can only make them that one time for the quest. They're really not bad. Okay, they're waiting outside. I don't know if these guys can be feared. I guess it's time to find out. Good. These 
please let me target the other guy. Please let me target the other guy, come on. No! Got him. Better run, boy! Whew! <sighs> God damn that stuff hurts. Oh my god, they moved! That's potentially huge! If I could get that third one to move as well. <clears throat> Somehow. If I can somehow get that third one to move up here, my strategy might work. God damn. Damages through the roof from that electric. I'm not going to be able to outheal it soon. Okay, so they come back. That's good to know. That means I need to kill them. Think of it as the boss increasing your move speed, consuming those are making me lighter. Not to any, any um, useful amount, unfortunately. <clears throat> I've still got a big pile of loot on the ground for us to use. Well, that's me dead. I can kill one of these, then I can stun the others 50% of the time. Which is not amazing, but it is something. That electric damage is just getting too much. Surely it must cap out. damaging me for way more than it's possible for me to heal. Like, way more.
lightning damage is just brutal. It is increasing in intensity, yeah. Since it's electric, could the hazmat suit block it? The hazmat suit only did um only blocked bio. Unfortunately. me dead. Oh! Definitely increasing in intensity. Really, really quickly increasing in intensity as well. I have to kill the tentacles. There's nothing else for it. They have to die. The tentacles have to die, and I have to kill them relatively quickly. <clears throat> I would have chalked to resort to violence, yeah. I can kill stupid chalk, like, no problem. It's, it's everyone else. I'm gonna have to restart the fight. That intensity is too much. Starts off at three. Ah. I'm going to have to find a decent way to, um, take out those tentacles as soon as possible. If I can take out the tentacles, it's all good. All you can imagine is Pablo's yelling, pay your taxes. <laughs> totally. Chort should just submit. Okay. Oh, come on. What's my game plan here? Um Sneak up to the iron blow up. You can't sneak up to it, unfortunately. Yeah. 
Who saw me? Nobody. You'll see this tax collector from a mile away. Short certainly does. Look, it's already up to eight damage. I don't know why I came out of stealth there, that was weird. Hmm. Easy does it. Shame you can't go remote, de remote detonate for TNT. Yeah, it really is. I need to equip my gas mask. <clears throat> Geyser. Can't believe how much that lightning escalates. It starts off like, ha ha ha, look at his puny lightning. But it really, really escalates. Look, tentacles, you don't even know I'm here. Chill out. Right. Mutagen is down. <clears throat> I wonder how many action points it takes to open a door. Can I open a door and then close it on the same round? One thing I'm noticing... Oh my god, they can open doors! You sneaky bastards!
One thing I'm noticing is Chort doesn't zap me when I'm actually fighting. Short seems to be all about that. As long as you're fighting, he doesn't care. Philosophy. Maybe a sense of fair play. Yeah, maybe. So as long as I can keep combat going... Then it's not escalating. So I need to keep combat going as long as possible. Which is where my question of, can I open and close doors in one turn came in. Because if I stay out of combat too long, it automatically ends combat. <clears throat> so just by going, yoo-hoo, it should keep me in combat and Chort won't attack me, whilst the gas kills these guys. That's the hope. I really need those Chortling scanners to die. I wonder if my energy shield can deflect my shield. I haven't even tried my shield on her. Let's turn it on. Does it deflect that damage? I can't believe the final boss has forced me to equip a shield a bit. Uh, sad times. <clears throat> I have high hopes we can win this. He's almost dead. He's gonna die. Okay, good. He's not gonna die. Unless the gas gets him. Slow and steady. Oh, don't open that door! Trawling scanner, you were gonna die. Why couldn't you just die? Why'd you have to open that door? Hey, my energy shield fully deflects that. Hey. Once these tentacles spawn, we're dead. My energy shield fully deflects that. Isn't that an interesting fact?
my energy shield fully deflects him. Once I kill all these, I can just kill him, I think. <clears throat> Might take a while, but not that long. <clears throat> I need those scanners to die. So they can't open the door. <laughs> we do have plenty of energy for recharging that shield, although I think I left it all on the floor, but conceptually we do. Okay, they're both going to get trapped. <coughs> this is very much a case of slow and steady wins the race. Very, very much a case. Come on, walk into the trap. Good. No! One of them walked into both traps! It did insta gib him, but then the other one has just out and out killed us. <clears throat> Shame they don't take damage from this. The mouth of Chort does. Which is interesting. I wonder where I threw that. Hopefully outside. Good. I might be able to keep the door open if I run to the side. That's both scanners trapped. No way. Three scanners. Those mother effers. My. There's three scanners. Three scanners. They're the guys who can open the goddamn door. <laughs> Good, that Soa couldn't attack me. Good. That was a pretty damn good start. 
They're all grouping up. I've got an extra trap down, I think. Maybe I don't. But it's still a pretty good start. Did I throw my grenade right next to me? Ah, oh, so much for a good start. So much for a good goddamn start. That was nice though. Shizer. I have to throw my grenade on the first first approach, I think. something block in that corner. Oh well, that's a pretty good location. That's really good, actually. <clears throat> really, really good. That's going to let me get off two neural hits a turn, I think. Must be placed on an occupied slot. Well, that's fair. Yeah, this location behind this door is really good. <coughs> Ooh, it's quite stressful. Stressful, but doable. Good. As long as I can kill the scanners, we're okay. Mostly. They're the only ones who can open doors. Not gonna lie, this fight is gonna take forever.
That's okay. It's all about the economy of time, right? Time is the economy in this fight. Time spent out of combat. I still have my backup track in the entrance. Which, while it's not ideal, it is something. My main concern is that that chortling sower who is blocking the entrance is gonna die. Oh my god, there's even more scanners. There's way more scanners than I thought. That sower is gonna die. What part of chorts? master plan. Look. Short is a scumbag. Short is a scumbag. <clears throat> but I've still got two grenades left. I was all on team short. I was totally down with short. <clears throat> Wouldn't let me join him. Most of Chort's master plan is to sit there unmoving. Yeah, you're not wrong. That's his strength and his weakness. <clears throat> it's mostly his weakness. I wonder how long the tentacles stay dead for. If I try and cast that, I'm going to end up killing myself. Ooh! Eventually one of them is going to step into that doorway. And that's when it's going to get real sketchy. Yeah, such is life. But I did put a trap in the doorway, so that'll help a little. So is dead. Ooh. Did 
Did all the scanners die? Three of them did. I feel like there was more than three. Three sewers are dead, three scanners are dead. We've got the three devourers. Maybe it's three of each. Maybe that's what we're dealing with. No, we've got four devourers. So much for the three of each theory. There he is, look! There's a scanner there, being a right sneaky bastard. Thought you got away, huh? Hey, Ultra! You guys aren't even trapped, they're just standing there. Pretty happy about that. They're trying to decide who should be the first to go through, I guess. <clears throat> and they can't make up their mind. I think they've body blocked each other, and I'm okay with that. So then we should be able to kill this tentacle. We should be able to sigh it to death. Oh my god, there's another scanner. Are you shitting me? If these guys are perma-spawning, we're in real trouble. I don't think they are, though. Although that extra devourer showing up is not a good sign. I did destroy all the tanks, right? Yeah. The extra devourer is really not a good sign. Five devourers. Six devourers. An amount of devourers. Well, when they ran into the doorway, that means all bets are off. Why is there another sower? There really isn't supposed to be another sower. I mean, it's possible, right? There were a lot of them grouped up over here. It's possible they're finally managing to make their way through. Another two sewers, really. <clears throat> and, well, that scanner's almost dead. He's plausible. A little worried I'm not going to be able to close this door. <clears throat> I need to kill this devourer and then close the door. <sighs> oh. 
or place another trap. <clears throat> oh, he's dead. We've got two devourers left. Kill that one. Oh, it's not going to let me place one there because... Okay. They better not be spawning more guys. If they are, I'm less confident we can win this. Looks like they might be spawning more guys, you know? And as much as we're chewing through them... If they keep spawning infinite guys... Then we're doomed. Please don't be spawning infinite guys. How many action points does it cost to close the door? Twenty five. Hopefully no one else shows up. They need to stop showing up at some point. Will a gas canister hurt the tentacle in front of me? I think so, and I want to try and lob one there. They are three different kinds. We've got a bio one, an acid one, and a mechanical one. <laughs> they have to be spawning new ones, right? I need to know. I'm gonna Google it. I need to know if they're spawning. Um... Randomly spawned from active mutagen tanks. That's what it says about them. 
randomly spawned from active mutagen tanks. I've destroyed all the tanks. So, you know. That's something. <clears throat> As I've destroyed all the tanks, they should stop appearing. But I feel like there's way more of them than there were when we were destroying the tanks. Look, another one just showed up. They're spawning from here. They have to be. They keep popping up there. And if they are... Then I'm at a loss as to what we can do. Look, I'm straight up murdering these fools over and over and over again. To the point where I can't even target the enemies anymore because there's so many corpses. Another one showed up. More of them just keep coming. I've destroyed all the tanks. I really don't appreciate the wiki for the game saying they get spawned from active tanks. If destroying all the tanks doesn't stop them spawning. Right now we're stuck in a cycle where he can't kill us. We can kill them over and over and over again. And over and over and over again. But you have to ask yourself what the point is. Look, they're just there's definitely way more than there were. Definitely. Look how many there are.
stuck in a vicious cycle. Which means these guys perma spawn. Which means we need a solution that deals with not being able to kill these guys. How is Chort looking? Perhaps he's spawning some at the cost of himself. I think that's wishful thinking, but let's let's check. No, he's looking totally fine. He's looking totally fine. They're just permanently spawning, which is really unreasonable. I mean, granted, me hiding in this shack and killing them over and over again is pretty unreasonable for him, too, but... You know... You gotta do what you gotta do. Which means I think we just need to try and... I think I have to accept they're permanently respawning. Which means reloading, not fighting them, trying to sneak past. Could I loot them during combat and gain some levels? No. Unfortunately not. Look how many there are. If it was a... Uh, if we were on combat for XP, then yeah, totally. Uh, we could just keep killing them and get loads of XP. I've used my entire Psy bar. The entire thing. I can't even cast spells anymore. They're definitely spawning out of there. They're too consistently appearing here facing that way. This area is spawning them. Which means we want to sneak past them all and fight the tentacles on the other side of the map. That's what it means. And hope that they don't come for us. Let's end combat and save. That was such a good plan as well. That was such a good plan. ruined by infinite respawns when the wiki says no they'll stop spawning once you destroy the mutagen canisters destroy the mutagen canisters and they won't spawn anymore that is a lie maybe it's because of the difficulty we're playing on but it is a lie Right, what we do is we end combat. <laughs> Maybe they only spawn during combat? Even so, that's whack.
We end combat. We save. We reload our earlier save. And we try and sneak past them. And try and fight the tentacles down here where they're not going to get involved. Hopefully. Infinite Chortlings. I'm keeping that safe just in case I have an epiphany. And then we're going back to Mutagen is down. And we're making a run for it. Making a run for it's going to be real hard with those uh, tentacles. I think I want to destroy the mutagens in a different order. I think doing that mutagen, doing that mutagen last is nice if you can get back out. I'm just not convinced we can. I want to see an enemy spawn from here. I think this is a better path. Because look, it looks like they spawn from the canisters, right? It definitely looks like they spawn from the canisters. But then once they're all down, they just seem to spawn anyway. Well, wow, I should have seen that one coming.
go. Come on. Man, I hate their random movement sometimes and how unrandom it is. <coughs> but right. That is a much better scenario for us to be in. Mutagen is down two. <clears throat> I'll be right back. I am back. One thing I'd like to know is can Chalk be hurt by those grenades? The gas canisters. That's what we're going to find out now, hopefully. Wow, they come straight to you when, um... When you go out of stealth, they literally teleport to you instantly. Okay. Look, they're not spawning. We can all agree. Well, no. One of them spawned up there, it looks like. I want to see one of them spawn down here. I want to see it. Because I'm sure they do. Isn't that the first tank I blew up? I place a trap at the spawn points, will the others be able to keep spawning after the first one gets trapped? It's a nice thought. Traps only last for... Um... Not long. What I could do is surround the spawn points with traps. I could literally fill these entire areas with traps. However, that only temporarily helps us. Maybe they only spawn when you're not there? Is that a thing? As soon as I heal, they appear. Right, here's the thing. We've lured all the enemies to the other side of the map, right? First off, 
I would quite like our grenades. I would also like our caltrops. I would also like our energy shields. I would also like... Okay, that's fine. So, if I de-stealth here, they come for me. How long till one appears? He's still attacking me during combat. Maybe he hasn't got the memo that I'm fighting yet. How long do they take to respawn is the real question. We're about to find out. This place is perfect for killing these things. Absolutely perfect for it. If it wasn't for that permanent respawning, Now I will grant you, they don't seem to be spawning here. Is it possible it was a bug? I don't want to get my own hopes up. I really don't want to get my own hopes up, but is it possible? I would have expected one to spawn here by now. Maybe they only spawn to replace each other, and the fact that I've got them all on the other side of the map means they're not coming. That's plausible. That's straight up plausible. I actually want to let him live. <coughs> because, depending on um, how fast they respawn, we might want to kill all three at once if we can get away with it. One tentacle down. He's already re- oh. Okay. It's workable.
There may be respawns ahead. Do 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 do. Depending how long they take to respawn, we might not even have time to kill what's his name. Short. Now I will grant you, I haven't been keeping track of how many turns it's been. We can at least get a feel for it. Like, does it give us time to kill another tentacle? Every death of a tentacle is half of Chort's health. So if during the respawn time we can kill two tentacles, that means we can kill Chort. And even if we can't kill Chort, even if we can just get Chort down to like half health, we just do it twice, right? We just do it twice. the canister harm short. I never got to check. Annoyingly we can't kill that tentacle from here. Oh! Thanks tentacle! Hey, much appreciated! Could be a valuable farewell gift while I reset. Yeah, totally. I'm loath to do this! I need to huff some glue. And you can't do that during combat. <sighs> so they take a while to respawn. And this guy's the acid one. That's even better. Next question. Can I kill both of these at the same time? I think he's gonna shoot me. He is, so I can't. Okay. That's unfortunate. I mean, technically I can. Enrico Pablo's Tentacle Slayer. Well, he's doing his best. Doing his best. If only I had more action points. I do have adrenaline shots. But it only works for two turns. They failed to pay the hentai taxes taxes, so no tentacles for them. Yeah. C 
See, with Sprint, we can do it, right? The trouble is that Sprint has a cooldown of 10 turns. What if I only cast one? Even just casting one isn't enough. I want to get them both down to low health and then... Deal with them after the fact, you know? But then that guy didn't respawn for ages. Maybe I should just kill him. That guy was actually not respawning. Maybe I just kill him. Not enough action points. <clears throat> Sorry, tentacle beast. But you did have it coming. Once two of them are dead, the third one we might be able to YOLO. Because he does acid damage. And our shield will protect us from all of it. I'm just not sure how long the shield will last whilst protecting us from all of it. Those crits were nice. I don't know why he's still attacking me, like, during combat. He's become real inconsistent about that. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. He's a real bastard. It might be he does it if no one can see you. I don't know. What I do know is that being able to take out two tentacles is pretty huge. And then potentially being able to take out the third is also pretty huge. And the fact that those guys don't seem to be respawning this time is also pretty huge. I'm just not optimistic though. I feel like the plan's gonna backfire somehow. You're optimistic, but that's because you want that sweet 5% credit, yeah. Two down. Really, Devourer? Sod off. Two down, an unknown number of glue huffing to go, yeah. That is a sad truth. Cannot be recharged in combat. Jesus Christ. 
Guy scared the shit out of me. Okay, short, let's dance. I didn't turn my shield on. How? I guess they do respawn pretty fast. I guess they do respawn pretty fast. Can I put down TNT with my combat trap skill? I don't have any TNT. Pains me to say it, but I don't have any TNT. Also, this shield's really good. I just want to see the gas hurt him. If I can see that gas, I don't think the gas is going to hurt him. I don't think it will spread onto his square, personally. It would be nice if it did. Can I use the psychic clone thing on him? Ooh, that's a good question. No, it's got to be a human target. I know lore-wise, these guys are technically human. Short is technically human. I don't think the game sees it that way. Short is made of humans, yeah. I was really hoping that gas would spread onto his thing. Also, that tentacle respawns way too fast. What the hell? I gas the egg. Maybe. I don't I don't I don't know what good it'd do me though. Devour it, you gotta sod off, man. I guess it'd let me kill all three quite close to each other. But then the question is, what's the point in that? Like they don't they don't seem to go down for very long. So I'm appreciating killing this guy. And I am appreciating it. The other two are going to get up by the time he's done. I can feel it in my bones. That devourer really needs to sod off. Devourer! He's back. Ok, 
Go away. Tell you what though, having all three of them here is pretty good. It means they're all within killing distance. If I could just make that devourer stay away. And also not get killed by that electric. Great, you came back with a friend. Go, go, go! Oh, short! I hope you like... Oh, look, it says it will reach him! I hope you like gas! Now we see if it hurts him. Does it hurt him? Yes! The gas hurts him. The gas hurts him! It does like 100 damage per turn. I saw that. <coughs> it said 100 damage. I'm not sure if I believe it. I need to see it again. 14? That's not 100. 14 damage? I'm pretty sure he regens more than that. He did sucker me in. But that gets rid of his regen. Gotta run.
19. <clears throat> Why is he still regenerating? He's not supposed to regenerate once he's below 90%. That's why I created that poison. <clears throat> Specifically to stop him regenerating. I really don't appreciate him regenerating when he's below 90% health. Really, really don't appreciate it. Bandage yourself! Oh! He wouldn't bandage himself while stealth. He's like, I can't see my own arm. What a son of a bitch. <clears throat> hey look, it says he's not regenerating. There's something funky going on with Short. <laughs> it just proves how stealthy we are, not even we can see ourselves, yeah. Look, now he's regenerating again. <clears throat> Wait. Isn't my gas getting in? Where's my gas gone? That gas lasts for ages. I guess destroying all the tanks doesn't destroy his innate regeneration. Yeah, nor does it stop the other guys spawning. It's totally redundant. But, we have got him down by 13% health. I consider that braggable. Normally he can regen hundreds of HP per turn. Well, yeah, okay, that is... That does make it vaguely worthwhile. No short. It's just not worth it, really. Sad to say... I guess we can see how much it actually does, total. Look, it did 30 damage that time. 30 damage!
I've just got myself killed. <clears throat> oh no. We are damaging him. Let it not be said that we're not damaging him. We're damaging him, we are. But we've got no way of healing ourselves. And he's gonna start being a scumbag with his special abilities again. He's gonna zap us at some point. This one's doing way more damage to him. Probably not enough, but it is doing way more. I wonder if they stack. No, they matters. You can only you can't throw them that often. But I wonder if they stack. Look, he's down to eighty percent health. Eighty percent. Eighty percent. Well, shit. It's only a matter of time. I know 80% isn't that braggable. I think our best bet <coughs> was in killing all three tentacles at the same time. Kill all three at the same time, make a run for it and just nuke him down. Throw a gas grenade at him and just nuke him. But how to kill all three at the same time? We've got two tentacles dead. Two tentacles dead doesn't help us. Because by the time we kill the third, they're back up. And that guy is a real pain in the ass. But. <clears throat> we have Mutagen is down too. I'm hoping I started combat fast enough that that guy didn't spawn, and I'm hoping he won't spawn. <clears throat> I don't see that devourer up there. I just don't see him. If he suddenly appears, then we know that they are still spawning. Or he's randomly wandering around. One of the two. <clears throat> now this isn't the best location for killing them. Because then we have to run all the way there, which does waste a couple of turns. But that might be okay. We might be able to sneak our way out and then actually kill them. Like go here and actually kill all three here. That would be really nice. If 
fact that I don't see that Devourer is really giving me confidence. Once it appears, my confidence is out the window. But it hasn't appeared yet. I'm not actually convinced we can take out all three though. We could probably take out two with a bit of deviousness and a lot of time. But taking out three might be a bit of an ask. I wish Chort would stop using that when I'm in combat. I had a deal with him. If I'm in combat, don't use that electric ability on me. And he's reneging on the deal. Shit, there's a Devourer down there. Where did he come from? mistake. Okay. Next up, we run down here. <clears throat> I wish that Devourer wasn't there. I wish he was up there. Like last time. Still don't understand why he spawned, but it's fine. Right. <clears throat> God damn it, the one that I didn't want to be there is there. I don't see any viable way to do this, you know? Unless I can get lucky with that, um... Devourer spawn. What's a scanner doing there? I guess it randomly picks a location and a type to spawn. But I was told by the wiki they wouldn't spawn once the mutagen canisters were dead. The wiki lied to me. Clearly the wiki are dirty liars or I somehow missed a canister. Yeah, but I didn't look. That one's dead. That one's dead. That one's dead. That one's dead. The wiki are dirty liars. That's what it is.
Why isn't the third tentacle here? He's just hanging out. Weakening one of them really <clears throat> doesn't help me that much. It really doesn't help. They can't be trapped. Some glue, off oh, some glue. Go into Stell. Oh, look, he showed up. Now, killing this guy is going to be a pain in, or even just weakening this guy is going to be a pain in the ass. But it is doable. That still only lets me get... Why die in my turn? That still only lets me get two of them down. Two of them down ain't gonna cut it. I do have an acid! No, I did it again! I do have an acid gun. I do have an acid gun. Wonder how Chalk feels about acid. Problem is, even if I weaken these two, the other one is still alive. But the, the third one, I can mental breakdown, and then I can frighten. So I can keep him out of combat for quite a while. Like eight turns. Maybe like ten turns if I'm smart about it. And these guys will respawn in about that time anyway. So I only need to kill two. Disable the third one. That gives me 10 whole turns ish, roughly, against Chalk. <clears throat> and that is not bad. Unfortunately, weakening these two is going to be a right pain in the butt. 
But if I have to do it, then I'll do it. <clears throat> I know it might seem like I'm a little bit insane running out there every turn for no reason. But there is logic behind it. Not very good logic, but there is logic. It's going to take me forever to kill this damn tentacle. That's preferable to the alternative, which is have no plan. Come on, give me some sweet, sweet crits. I could probably use some adrenaline. Is it worth it? What does adrenaline do? How long does fatigue last? I've only got one shot. After the effect expires, the consumer will be worn out. But for how long? I need to save that for when I'm against short. We can take our time here, it's fine. Take out two, make the third one run away. Live the dream. Somehow kill short in ten turns. Which is plausible with our Psy attacks and our Psymorphic Biocide grenades. Release it does 13 to 58 bio damage per turn, depending on the gas concentration. So if I can throw two grenades, the concentration will be increased. And we'll be living the dream even further. We have a plan. I know we've had a few plans and none of them have worked. But this one has potential. Disable the worms for 10 turns-ish. Hope for the best. And even if we can't kill him... Then we can just do it again. Maybe. Possibly. The main pain is this second tentacle. It's not that bad, I guess. He could be worse. question is, why is this plan going to fail? You just know it's going to fail. What's the reason going to be? My plans always fail. What's the reason going to be? Maybe... No, I don't know actually, it seems like a pretty concrete plan. Unless his electricity stacks up too much. Remember when we murdered all those demons and he didn't cast electricity on us once? Maybe he doesn't cast it on you if you attack? There's something I could believe. 
In which case, I should really be bringing crossbow bolts here so that I can whiff crossbow shots every turn. Just so that he doesn't cast out lightning. That might be an optimization. And that'll be the problem with if we have to do it two times in a row. This electric damage is getting pretty overwhelming. Which is another thing the wiki Eli is on, by the way. They say if you're in combat, he won't cast that lightning thing. It's just clearly not true. The wiki just makes stuff up. Like, yeah, this is how it works. No, it's not. If the fight worked how the wiki said the fight worked, we'd be killing it. <clears throat> and I know I might sound salty about the wiki. <clears throat> But it's supposed to be a resource to be used, it's not supposed to deceive you. I don't rely on wikis, and this is just reinforcing that decision. It's starting to do 22 damage. Come on, worm, I need you dead. Yeah, look, he didn't cast it that time. So if you do damage in a turn, he won't cast it on you. And I think the grenades count as damage. So if you have, because when we had all those guys there, we weren't doing damage every turn, but we did have a grenade that was doing damage every turn. So that must be how it works. <clears throat> Maybe I should update the wiki. That's definitely how it works. If you do damage in a turn. Maybe even if you attack. When I kill Chort, do I get to be the new object of worship for their religion? You'd hope so. You'd definitely hope so. It's really problematic that this electricity damage is starting to stack up. But then look, he didn't attack that turn. He's really inconsistent about it. Now he's not attacking. Why? Who knows? Guess you prove you have more power than a god, thus you would be more powerful than god. So you are super god. Yeah. Just don't show them the CCTV footage of how we managed it. <clears throat> how did you kill Chort? Ah, don't worry about it. I just used my powers. What I actually did was I ran back and forth out of the door for like an hour. The details can be hashed out by those I appoint to write my gospel, yeah. Time for a cheeky save. Uh, Puff some glue. Bandage up. Two almost dead tentacles. 
Right. Look, this game makes some really weird decisions. Did you know if when you reload, your stealth is always on cooldown? Always. No matter what. Why is your stealth always on cooldown? Who the hell knows? But it is. Thought he wouldn't see me. Turns out he totally did. God, I hope this plan works. I'm sick of Chort. I'm sick of the deep caverns. Right. Operation Chort is a son of a bitch. Commence. Chug the adrenaline. Go ham. There's no way I'm killing Chort in 10 turns. Throw another grenade. This is literally my best shot, and it's not going to pan out. The adrenaline was not worth it. <clears throat> Uh 
Really? Really, man? Tentacles back. If I hadn't whiffed that grenade throw, we still probably wouldn't be okay. But... I'd have felt a lot better about it. You know, if we can get lucky with crits, we've gone down to 35% health. If I hadn't whiffed that grenade. If I hadn't whiffed that grenade. Eight hundred and seventy-six health. Another tentacle's gonna show up. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. God versus Tax Collector, who will win? God. If we could survive two more turns, we could fear him again. We're not going to survive two more turns. But if we could, that's what we'd be doing. Second tentacle. We're going down to six, seven, nine. Can we do better? I guess technically we got him down to five. We got him down to twenty percent health. So Tanda says, "Gotta say, you make what I assume to be impossible challenges possible." It's partly why I love watching you. Look, we haven't won yet, but I appreciate the sentiment. The gas might kill him. We're not going to survive to find out, but the gas might kill him. I know I said we're not going to survive to find out. And I guess that's true. I don't have enough action points. If I'd feared that guy, we could have actually survived to find out. It's fine, that was a trial run. We whiffed a grenade. Take adrenaline for AP. We don't have any. <clears throat> we only have one adrenaline. And I used it, but I used it too early. I should have used it at the end of the fight. <clears throat> that gets us there a turn sooner, I think.
<clears throat> if we can get some lucky crits, right? We need some lucky crits. We need me not to whiff that final grenade. <clears throat> and we need to use the adrenaline right at the end. If we can pull off all those things, there is a chance. <clears throat> We've gotten down to 19% health. See, I'd almost debate lobbing these shitty high explosive grenades. They do do something, but we're just going to blow ourselves up. That's the sad truth of that one. We'll just blow ourselves up. I don't know if they stack when they're on the same square, so I'm going to try throwing them on different squares this time. we're not killing them as fast as last time. Maybe we're just getting unlucky on our rolls. Like, it really... We might just have to actually try this multiple times. Because the amount of damage Neural Thingy does, it's got quite a large spread. We need some of those sweet 150 crits. That's what we need. I know I said I don't know if this stacks. It's a shame I can't throw it on his square. It's a real shame. Shame by location doesn't work. Yeah. That is a shame. But it's a manageable shame. Good. We're running low on uh, the juju as well. The Psy reserves. Why have we done significantly less damage this time? Am I crazy? I feel like we've done significantly less. You'd love to see the dude randomly pop in from a portal in the middle of the fight. Who? Six? Man, I hate six. We've only gotten to 36%, what the hell? Oh right, Pablo Zotor wants a mushroom wine, that goddamn guy. I think I 
it might be time for the adrenaline. I don't know though. Two turns. I'm gonna use it when the other guy shows up. The main concern here is how ridiculously low on mana we are. Now we get the crits. Great. There he is. That means the other one shows up next turn, and that means we need to run. Seventeen percent! If we'd got some nice crits during that. I believe in the um, gas canisters. I believe in the gas canisters. Go. Gas canisters got this. I don't think they do, honestly, but... How did he get to move and attack? Usually they don't get to move and attack. How did he get to move and attack? That son of a bitch! The gas canisters probably did have this, but we're dead now. They've never been able to move and attack in the same turn before. Suddenly, look what we're going to throw at you, just when you've almost won. Chalk plays by his own rules, those rules are known as bullshit. They really, really are, you know. Reduces all damage for three turns. That's no good to us. It'll kill us. Can you die from morphine? I've got nothing that can save us. I've actually got nothing that can save us. Chort would have been dead if this guy hadn't managed to somehow break the rules and both teleport and attack and lock us in place. God damn. And we just don't have enough mana. Well, I say just. We're actually loads off. But still. Next turn, we could have used a Psy Booster. Ah! Maybe we'll get lucky? We didn't. You know what? That's fine. We'll just do it again.
A little bit worried about that. I think it's based on distance, you know? RNGs is save us all, yeah. Someone's gonna have to. <clears throat> Off to a terrific start with that fifty five damage. Size is the real issue here. It's really heavily based on those rolls. If we can get a couple of crits, just a couple, that's all I ask. I'm debating trying to use some of these high explosive grenades. It's a hell of a risk. It's a hell of a risk. But they would do some damage. But they might destroy our grenade as well, so I'm not gonna. Gas grenade lasts for 10 turns. I'm not sure that the um, that my extra grenades are actually increasing the concentration of the gas, you know? But does it really matter? Short, I want to throw this grenade right in your stupid face. I guess I'll just stack them. Maybe stacking them will help. I should also try and fight from further back. <clears throat> so that I can run more efficiently. You short. I hate you, short. Two turns left on the fear. Where's all my crits at, yo? Need some of them fat, critty, boom bitties. I don't even know if we're doing better damage wise this time. Does it really matter? You know what's interesting? Absolutely nothing. Let's get back to it. Right, the other guy is going to show up soonish.
That was a nice crit. He's down to 39%. The worm is back in action. And we're back to being out of mana. I really don't think these extra canisters are doing anything. But they are prolonging the effect. That crit was really not appreciated. Twenty five per cent. That crit screwed us. That crit has screwed us. Maybe. Ah, uh, maybe not actually. I think it has, but you never know. I think it's time to run. Ooh, that was nice. <clears throat> He's got 466 health. Time to get four crits in a row. We've got no mana. We've got no mana. And the only thing I've got to deal damage with is... <clears throat> This terrible grenade, which I'm tempted to lob, and then run. I'm really tempted, but we'll end up blowing ourselves up. You know it and I know it. We'll blow ourselves up. Thirty damage, twenty damage, twenty damage. You know what? It's better than no damage. <sighs> I don't think we've done enough. Oh, F off! So there's one thing I don't need right now, it's a Chortling Sower showing up. It's because I threw that grenade! They all heard the grenade! They all heard the grenade! Shit! <sighs> You know what, maybe that 20 damage will be what we need. Maybe that grenade was the master play. There's seriously going to be a lot of them coming though. No, Chut's not dying from that. But do we need him to? Do we need Chort to die from it? We can just sprint back in and kick the ever-living shit out of him. Right? Once he's done with the poison. I mean, sure, there's going to be a lot of enemies there. 
But I'm hoping once Chort dies, they die. If not, then, uh, yeah, we'll just have to deal with it. This is definitely the closest we've got him. And it's totally doable. It's totally doable. I know that might be just wishful thinking. But we can do it. He's got 300 health. You believe in Pablez. 300 health. I don't think our gas is going to stick around long enough, unfortunately, to kill him. But imagine if it did. Oh, imagine if it did. I'd be glorious. He's going to start zapping us soon, which I'm a bit worried about. But as soon as we end combat, we can bandage. And we can huff some glue. And we can sneak up here and get a plasma grenade. Maybe. And then just run in there and throw a plasma grenade at our feet and be like, Hello, Akbar! <laughs> that might be the way to do it. With our Psy and with our Psy shield up, it might absorb the damage. The old Allahu Akbar might actually be the way to win. Am I back? Am I back? I think I am back. My internet decided to shit the bed. But I kept the game paused so that you guys wouldn't miss anything. Don't know what happened with my internet there. But I'm going to take this opportunity to roll a smoke. I think we might win. Short hitters for 33 damage. I just need to end my turn. I know this might seem weird. Pre fight. I hope the stream's still going. Good, the stream is still going. <clears throat> right. Praise Jesus. Right. I just wanted to make a safety save there so that we can redo the fight if we have to, but I can still quick save like a mofo. So I'm not losing that. That was a really good setup. Quick, bandage ourselves. We can't do it while stealth. Quick, unstealth. I still can't bandage myself. Bandage yourself, man! Why won't he bandage himself? Do I have Doctor? Oh, the 40% thing. Yeah, 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 totally. Chort has 72 health. Chort 
Short has 72 health. Short has 41 health. Just think, one more crit would have done it. One more crit! Oh my god! Forty-one health. He's not regening, from what I can tell. Forty-one health. That means we can definitely do it, right? Just by redoing that fight. The RNG on the numbers would make up forty-one health couple of extra crits. I'd rather succeed from here though. I just don't know how we would do it. I just don't know how we'd do it. Um... He's not taking damage anymore. Forty one health. We could just got a flashbang. No. No, I don't. Well, I do, but it's all in a pile there. That's all the stuff I didn't think I needed. Did he just fire through the door? They might get bored and walk off, right? Stranger things have happened. They might get bored and walk off. Or... We just Leroy it, right? Path isn't completely blocked, yeah. We just we just run. We just run. It's a good job bandages don't have cooldowns. Because they will probably um <clears throat> Path is completely blocked. Not always. I don't think stealth's gonna work. I was hoping I could stealth my way past the first few. But they're just not moving. Well, they might do, given time. They do like randomly walking. Given time, I think they might get bored and leave, you know? We've got 85 bandages, we can wait it out.
At least for a little while. I don't think they're going to leave. I'm sad to say, I don't think they're going to leave. Can I kill them? They're committed to my demise. They are. I'm committed to their demise too. It goes both ways. As long as I can target this guy. They're all going to come in. That's just going to make matters worse. I think we have to redo the fight. I think we have to redo the fight. So close. I think I should save one of my gas grenades for the turn when I run. I don't think them stacking is actually helping us. I might be wrong on that, but I don't think it's helping. I should also really try and get a cheeky thing off to top off our reserves. It's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky to get it without wasting a turn. But I think it's worth it. An extra 83 Psy. <clears throat> Maybe I can place a few mines close to it via quick tinkering and then detonate them with a grenade later. I do have mines! That is a good idea. That is a killer idea. Oh, he resisted. If he resists that, we're dead. That's a really good idea. I can live with that. mines do I have? High Explosive Mark 3. Yeah, I'll 
take that crit. It's a fine balancing act. Oh, he resisted. If he resists, that's it over. I'm not convinced about this extra side. I feel like we do need it. That's not good. I guess there's one less turn. I feel like we need the extra side, it's just... That's fine. Getting that grenade off turn earlier helps a bit, I think. My concern with the mines is it brings those guys in, which stops us being able to Leroy, right? <clears throat> the Leroy strategy could work if we don't have the uh, enemies here. But the explosives bring them in. So it's a gamble. It is a gamble. But I'm okay with a gamble. Shouldn't be a problem if the mines kill short. Yeah. That's the thing, right? It's it's very much a balancing act. I'm gonna save our grenades. Stacking them doesn't seem to help. And they might come in handy. We can throw one as we leave. But if we throw one as we leave, we can't trigger these. We'll decide. I'll throw one... I don't know. At some point. How much damage does a mine do? A lot. Depending on his resistance. I like how the eye moves to follow you. That's a nice little touch. I am going to throw another one for now. We need some crits. We need some of those delicious, delicious crits. I shouldn't be turning my shield on so early.
I don't need my shield that early. I forgot that it drains over time. That's fine though, that's all evolutions for the future. I know I said I wasn't going to keep throwing grenades, but you know what? Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Other one's gonna show up soon. I really don't appreciate being entangled. But I think it's fine. Totally not fine. Shot's doing way better than the last time. There's our other buddy. And because I knackered the shield, <clears throat> we're not in a good position here. So, uh, 800 health. Blowing my shield was a bad idea. The resistance. Place the mine there. I don't know though, I'm hit and miss on the whole mine placing. They do do a lot of damage.
Go until breakdown is last to its last turn and then use frighten for eight turns of fear. That's what I am doing. That is what I'm doing. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's see. That's the only thing that's letting us get this far. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was definitely doing that. And then by the time it runs out, we can uh, break him down again, which is nice. Not getting very good rolls on these. This is very much down to RNG at this point. The RNG is not in our favor. I think he's got his beat here. We've been getting terrible neural overloads. Terrible ones. I need some sort of a metric to go on. Like, how much health is he at? When I mental breakdown for the second time. At least it doesn't cost you any action points to turn your shield on. That's quite generous, honestly. And our shield is fully stacked this time, which might help. That acid entanglement is brutal. We need to not get caught by that. That crit was nice. A bit too little, too late, but it was nice. Ah, entangled again. The hazmat suit protects against acid, maybe. Um. I think it only does bio, right? Oh shit, we died. He crit us.
It really does just come down to chance at this point. I don't like mental breaking him on this turn. Although it gives us another turn without the um, other guys showing up. But I don't like doing it. Oh, that was a mistake. <clears throat> Thing is, I don't have a hazmat suit with me. That's another reason. And I'm not redoing all of us getting to this part. Like, all the, the getting to this part has been absolutely brutal. Forty-eight, fifty-eight is so terrible. But I guess over time. Over time it should all equal out. But I'm not convinced it does. Also, having him be there is really rough. Also... I'm gonna skimp on the grenades. And the mines. I like the idea, but... I think running in later and YOLOing him, I think we'll be able to get more damage off and not risk triggering all those guys. see though. We're really pushing it to the wire. Getting him to 42 health was so ridiculous. I mean personally I see that as an accomplishment in and of itself. But it's not the accomplishment we need. Every crit helps. Don't resist this fear. Please don't resist it. Immune! Oh right, fear. I cast the wrong spell. Oh! That's us basically dead. Can't believe I cast the wrong spell. Oh, ha 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 ha. I don't know why I'm continuing now. That's us dead. That loses us four turns worth of shenanigans. Well, about three turns. I'm continuing because I'm here. And I might as well. Small optimizations. They're the key. Like, don't turn this on straight away. Let him beat me down so that I can get my medkits back. Then turn it on. It's 
Small, small optimizations. Maybe running into one of the corners next to Chort will put me out of tentacles range and force it to relocate. <clears throat> oh, like uh, one of these. I don't know if I can hit him from those. It's a good, good idea though. Worth investigating. Speaking of buying a turn, um... If that tentacle doesn't show up, well, shit, never mind. Next turn, we could have uh, stunned them both. It's fine though, this was failed from the outset. As soon as I miscast that fear. Should have tested that relocation thing while I was there. Good, good. That buys us a turn of being able to damage short. Sort of. This has got off one free spell. <clears throat> good, that's where I wanted him. Please don't resist this. Good. I think I've just wasted a turn of poison. I should have probably done it there. Because I could have used the potion this turn. This is all about maximizing gains. It really is about maximizing gains. Trying to compensate for the terrible RNG. Need some crits. Need to throw down another poison canister soonish. Next turn. Right, don't resist this. Ah, you jerk! Right, let's test the theory. I can hit him from here, but that means he can probably hit me from here. From there. Yeah. Well, him resisting that thing screwed us. That could not be better. I guess there's two free hits in this turn. 
or one hit and a grenade, but two hits is better. Jeez! This fight is intense. Good. That's the optimal start. That's the best start we've had. Except for maybe some crits. Don't resist this. Good. Now we just lay down the nuke. And we hope he doesn't resist at the end. Sure is a shame Doppelganger won't work on him. He is human. far I can fire from. If I went over here it'd probably go this guy over here and then I could run back. I wonder how far I can neural from. I think I can do it from pretty far. Tip tells you the range overloads is pretty short. Six. Okay, so this is literally the limit of it. <clears throat> and it's not far enough. But we can run out there after we cast it. He'll run over there, then we can run back in. certainly give it the old college try. My grenades run out. But the gas is still there. If I do that... Then I run like... here. I'll take that. <clears throat> Please don't resist this. I'm casting the right spell. Yeah. Good.
I think that gains us an extra turn of him not attacking us. Maybe. Throw down another gas. And I think this is going really well, based on his current health. I think this is going alright. It's quite hard to tell. Right, he's coming back. He's not usually this low, this early. <clears throat> the main problem now... ...is if the other guy resists the fear. Gonna let him shoot me. That entanglement is a bitch. <clears throat> I'm gonna chug that. I'm gonna turn that on. And we're gonna wail on him. 366 health. Here comes the other tentacle. Ah, oh, I'm entangled, I can't... Oh my god. Come on! That was unfortunate. It's not the end of the world. We're only entangled for one more turn. We've got 200 health. Adrenaline. Uh Shit man, what do I do? Shit, shit, shit. Run in, throw another gas grenade, run away. I think is the play. We might still die. He's fearable. That last gas grenade might have done it. In fact, it almost certainly has done it. We don't have the mana for three neurals. And we don't have the mines. But I think he's dead. I think we beat him. That final gas canister lasts ten turns. Ten turns doing 16 to like 37 damage. He's almost guaranteed dead. Almost. Now we just need to survive him shocking us, which he is going to do. That's where the real problem comes in. I need to end combat and bandage. It's 
66 health. Shit. We didn't bandage. He's dead. Chort is dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. Save. Jesus Christ. That was so freaking close. If he'd neuraled us again, I think we'd have been dead. Hey, look, they're killing each other. We did it! We did it! One of them's gonna live, right? Or does their health drain over time? No. One of them's gonna live. Maybe their health does drain over time. No. Oh my god! To all who doubted me, let it be known, we did it. Oh, what an ordeal though, Jesus Christ! I actually didn't think we could pull it off. I actually didn't think it was doable. Who's laughing now? Let's kill this last loser. Oh, I can turn the game speed back up. Thank God. You totally doubted me. Oh, I know you did, John Luke. I know you did. If there's one lesson Zoltando would tell you. Never doubt my ability to overcome ridiculous odds that people say are impossible. Because I will do it! Oh! That's why they call me the Master of Cheese. And safe scumming. But you know what? Combine cheese and safe scumming, and you can take on the world. Nine XP. Right. Oh, short. Whether it was a monster or a god, it's dead now. That's a bit presumptuous. The eye's dead. <clears throat> what if it's a decoy eye? Think about it. If I was short, I'd have a decoy eye. Yes, you totally killed me. The cube. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Can't do anything with it. Disable the electric field. Enable elevator power. Save and then randomly invoke some commands. Nothing happens. If you do that enough, something should happen. Console starts buzzing. <laughs> well, okay. You know what? That's fair. That's totally fair. I brought that on myself. We did it, and I assume all the chortlings upstairs will be dead. It better be anyway. So I've got plasma grenades to loot. Oh! Scumbag chort! Scumbag chort! Maybe they're just going to be in a frenzy. 
Punishment for those who don't save after the battle. Yeah. Oh, I was I was hitting save instantly. There's no way. Normally I'm quite lax when it comes to saving. But not after that. Jesus Christ. I'll take my plasma grenade and some frag grenades mark 4, which is ridiculous. They would have been handy. Chort was always on my mind. Chort was always on my mind. Rest in peace, Chort. You are an odd fellow. But I will say... You steamed a good ham! Chort is dead! Chort is dead! Dort is chaired! Hey guys! Setting up traps! Hello, faceless commander. Give us the cube. Uh, if I say I never took it, it's inside. They're just going to read my mind. Look, faceless. I earned this cube. <clears throat> I have one condition. I want you to return Laura. It will be done. There you go, man. Have the cube. I can't even do anything with it. We have no more business with you. Well, that's just rude. He produces a strange medallion and hands it to you. This is for you. You are now free to leave. Look, I've got questions, man. You had the chance to ask everything you wanted. Yeah, and you were totally useless. How do I open the gate? We don't know. How do I weaken chalk? We don't know. How do I get out of here? We don't know. How do I get out of here? There's an elevator southwest of Hollow Earth. I thought they said they'd give me a lift. They said they would give me a lift. They said once you get the thing, we can use our tunnelers to get you out. Those utter bastards. Now, what's the deal with this faceless medallion? Can I use it? Is it just a shitty plot item? <sighs> it's a shitty plot item. Great. Well, I'm taking your traps. I hate these guys. I hate the faceless. They all deserve to die. I just wanted your traps. Making my way downtown, walking slow. Do 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 do. I wonder how the Chortians feel about it. Let's go check in. Look, you guys are supposed to be killing each other. Oh, I see how it is. I see how it is, game. Those chortlings are supposed to be dead. I'm not taking all this crap with us. I brought it all here, but I'm not taking it all back. I don't need any of this. I'll take those blueprints. Regenerative mixture. Ooh. I don't need any of this. 
<clears throat> Except my borrow of poison. Let's not go crazy. Um. I don't need any of this. Especially don't need those crossbow bolts. Chort was always on my mind. Chort was always on my mind. Rest in peace, Chort. Um, I guess I can drop these mechanical repair kits. I don't care about them. Right. <clears throat> oh, come on. I hate these faceless. Just leaving traps everywhere. You don't see me doing that. I've got respect. There's a certain level of professionalism required in the trapping community. You can't just leave traps everywhere. Also, I really resent that these guys aren't killing each other. Ah, oh, but they are leaving. Fair play. That's a really bad crossbow. Honor among trappers. Totally. Totally. You don't see me just dropping traps in the middle of the road. Traps serve a specific purpose. Let's go back to the Chortians, see what they've got to say about things. Chortle, chortle. They'll probably kill us on sight. They'll be like, we know it was you. Even though, logically, they shouldn't know Chort's dead. Right? Because they don't think they can get in there. <clears throat> Thou shalt not trap thy neighbor's wife. Yeah. They shouldn't know that Chort is dead. How do they know? They are under the impression that nobody can get in there except Head Honcho. So how do they know that Short is dead? Riddle me that. Maybe the Faceless told him. Maybe the Faceless were like, hey, guess what? You think they can feel it? Nah, I don't buy that for one second. They've never once mentioned being able to feel Chort. It's always been that one guy, he can talk to Chort, but nobody else can. This place seems lonely now. Can I go raid their base, the Faceless base? There was a lot of stuff there that I wanted to loot and I couldn't. Catch you later, Chortlings. I'm glad I got your oddities before you left. <clears throat> Maybe I can go talk to Leo. Like, what up, Leo? They do mention what you experience as the Eye of Chort effect. Do they? I know Leo mentions it. I don't remember them mentioning it. Oh, no. No, they did. They did. They said he's scanning your brain. Eventually, he'll decide you're a cool dude. Hey, Brian. What's up? Is I just killed Chort. And it took... Like, five hours. Five hours to kill Chort. <clears throat> Maybe four hours. I spent an hour doing the mutagen quest. He 
You know, if I never see the faceless again, that's going to be really disappointing because they had some oddities I wanted. <clears throat> Chort is dead. Chort is dead. Chort is evolution. Evolution is short. That means evolution is dead. Can I come back here later? Did they take all their loot? Those absolute mad lads! They took it all! Oh, they preempted me! I should have killed them all while I had the chance. Right, how do we get out of here? Elevator to the southwest. Let's go confront Tana. Oh, Tana! Tana, you son of a bitch. It was you all along. I'm gonna surround him with high explosive mines. <sighs> I wonder if the elevator is the same one we brought down. Probably not. I'm trying to think where I've seen an elevator. They said it was in the south. I hope it's not through that cave. Oh my god, it's totally gonna be through that cave. can't deal with it being through that cave. Maybe it's over here? Ah, you scumbags. Kill Chort and you still can't kill a beetle? Sad times. Sad, sad times. Right, where's my elevator? Aha! Aha, ha, ha! I don't remember this place. Did I ever come here? All signs point to yes, because I pseudo-looted that. Okay, that's fine. Freedom! Oh my god! Deep caverns can F off. Six, no! I wanted to speak to you! Six, what are you doing? Aha! <coughs> Chort is no more. The cube has been returned. I was wondering when you'd show up again. Other events await my, or should I say our, participation. That's why I'm here. I'm looking for someone. Someone who pretends to be one of your kin but is not. Tanner, as he calls himself. Tanner must die, and few but myself can make sure that occurs. I'm a powerful being, and so is he. We are the same kin, yet he conceals it better. The reasons should be obvious. Why you gotta kill him, man? He committed a crime. Ooh, what crime? That does not concern you. Come on, man. 
You need me to get to him. He's going to say, no, I don't. I'm super cool. No. Tanner is no longer in Southgate Station. He knows I'm after him. And if I am correct, he should be on his way to North Underrail. Our events are connected. Yours, Tanner's, mine. I do not know why, but I do know that such is the case. As I saw you being an essential participant, perhaps you're also an actor of similar importance in Tanner's. Or even in other events. After our conversation comes to an end, I will travel to North Underrail after him. I would recommend you do so too. All the destruction that emerged from the events we've witnessed is a consequence of his actions. Yeah! If you want to prevent similar happenings from occurring, North Underrail should be your next destination. You will find me in a place called Hexagon. Ask for six. Hmm. I gotta think about it. <clears throat> your kin often exhibits foolishness. Placing your petty desires before outcomes more important. The faceless blockade is no more and the railroad should be unobstructed. I believe we will share events again. Ask while you can. Who are you? I come from far away. That's the best answer I can give you. It's the only one you'll be able to understand. Thanks, man. As for what I am, the things you see will be enough of an answer. Short referred to you as a high one. Yeah, he did. Or he referred to Tanner as a high one. It's an archaic term, a distant thought. It does not describe me, but it speaks volumes about this particular manifestation. Where are you from? You would not understand it. Thanks, man. You say Tanner's pretending to be one of us, you don't seem to care about concealing your appearance. Yeah! No. Why? It would be meaningless. Fair enough. What can you tell me about Tanner? His power is not different from my own. Even though he's reluctant to reveal it. He hid from me over the course of many events, under different pseudonyms. Why won't he fight you? He's powerful, but not as much as I am. Are you sure about that? That might be why he wanted the cube. He tried, but I do not allow him, as you are able to see. What's his real name? I will not reveal that. He told me yours. Names hold power. I reveal mine because it was necessary. Revealing Tanner's is not. Maybe in some different event. Look, I don't care about Tanner's name. You say your mission was to kill Tanner, yet you let him get away. Why? It's something I knew was important, but you don't know why. I was sure it needs to be destroyed, I was not sure why. There's a difference. Fair enough. Catch you later, Six. Travelling the Hooch Highways. Oh, I know where we are. A place that's really awkward to get home from. You can tell I've been here. All the barrels are looted. Look, pigs. It's really not cool what you're trying to do here. Am I going to get killed by a pig? Am I going to take on short and then get killed by a pig? This is how it ends. Maybe not, he missed his charge. Run! I'm not getting killed by a pig. I have some standards. Why am I still in combat? Not death stalkers, man. Please don't be death stalkers. I knew I should have picked up that jackhammer. It's really pathetic that I'm still scared of a pig. 
There's just no denying that I am. Bring it on, pigs. <clears throat> Maybe I've got no reason to be scared of pigs. Maybe killing Chort gave me confidence, and that's what I really needed. These warthogs can take a hit. Getting beaten by a pig, I refuse. I said I'm not getting beaten by a pig. I stick by what I said. Short has brought out my inner tryhard. It's turned Pablez from a pacifist who will do everything to avoid a fight into someone who just doesn't give a crap anymore <clears throat> and will kill pigs. Even if it uses all his resources to do so. Well, shit. I'm not getting killed by pigs. Let our healing items come off cooldown. Let's teach these pigs a lesson. Why you gotta crit me, man? Why you gotta crit? These pigs really aren't cool. I'm totally gonna have to reload that quick save. Look. It's worse than that. I've already overwritten it. Look, I can kill these pigs. If I can kill Chort, I can kill some pigs. Can 
Catch you later, pigs! Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta run away like a coward. The pigs have won this round, but they haven't won the war. <sighs> that is kind of pathetic how we can kill Chort, but we can't kill a bunch of pigs. It really says a lot about the power of pigs in this game. They do a lot of damage. Can't take them lightly. <clears throat> Final boss was a truffle connoisseur. Yeah, those pigs may very well be the final boss. I don't know where we are. I'm just walking around. I want to go back to Southgate Station and be like, "Oh, we're here! Oh, I know where we are. We're right next to the station." <clears throat> I thought old Jonas was going to be the bad guy, the big bad. But I should have known when Tanner had that supervision at the beginning of the game. And I was calling him a security camera. I left all my plot items in the deep caverns. I am going to walk to Junkyard and sail to SGS. It's painful, but that's what I'm going to have to do. <laughs> Why did I leave all my plot items there? I can get back there, right? <clears throat> I can get back there, right? Imagine if I'd left all my money. I must be able to go back to deep caverns. For sure. For sure I can. We fixed the elevator. You're not sure? We fixed the elevator, it must let us back. <clears throat> if not, then I've just lost all my plot items, which includes all my expansion stuff. Hey Sentry! There are no plot items you absolutely need anymore. Okay, good. Not even... Because I started the expansion content. Yeah, yeah, the expedition. All my expedition plot items are down there. Fortunately, I had finished my quest series when I left. <clears throat> so my next thing I had to do was go to bed, I think. It's the next thing in the expedition. But yeah. You need the hand with the RFID chip. Yeah. Shit, you're absolutely right. Well, I better be able to get back. If not, we're going to have to kill Short again. I don't think I can deal with that. Ch 
Short Slayer coming through. Technically, I've beaten the game. <coughs> That's true. That's true. But I haven't done the expedition, which I assume has its own final boss. Hello, private quarters. Nobody sent us an email. They really gave up on this email thing real early in the game. They were like, look, you get emails every so often. Twice. I want to go and talk to Ezra. Do the rounds. Hey Ezra, Vera wants to see you urgently, talk to her first. Alright man, alright. Calm yourself, I'll talk to Vera. Expedition does have a story to go through but no bosses. Mm. Rico Pablez, I'm so glad you arrived. Yeah! Three heard protectorate forces were moving towards the Institute of Chort. Were they? I'm not hearing for you for so long. We became really worried. We've yet to determine if I'm actually alive, considering the things I've been through. What does that mean? <clears throat> and also, what's he talking about? Protectorate forces moving towards the Institute of Chort. That never happened. You didn't seriously think I was going to die. I'm sure you want to rest. I wouldn't want to delay it. But something happened. Tana disappeared. I know. The word is already out. Tell me about it. He left his office some time ago. Nobody's seen him since. No one saw him leave through any of the station's exits. Like he vanished. This never happened before. So many things are happening and his disappearance worries me. We should be able to track down Tana. The expedition is in North Undervale, right? We should be able to... We should be able to go and track down Tana. We still haven't checked his room. Since you're here, I think it's best you do it. Well, yeah, I'll do it. Usually I would appro approach Gorski, but he's in Core City. Yeah, he's running his own gang. He's gone AWOL, lady. He ain't coming back. There's protectorate troops outside the Institute. They came to investigate the commotion. Ah. See Ezra. He will let you into Tanner's room. Keep your eyes open. I think it's time I assemble the council. Look, you better let me be part of the council. One XP! Vera, you're really pushing your luck here. One XP. Can I... I ordered them to return that lady, right? Is she here? Pascal, how's Laura holding up? She's stable, unconscious but stable. Her wounds would have been fatal if not for the faceless. Their medicine is something out of this world. Besides taking care of here, it's a typo, they even left her a gift. What do you mean? They've implanted a device in her throat which serves as a replacement larynx. <clears throat> I'm not talking about re retaining the ability to speak, but to fulfill two functions that come before speech. Preventing food from entering the windpipe and allowing leverage when lifting heavy objects by closing the vocal folds. What? I kind of want to try and lift a heavy object now to see if my vocal folds close. <coughs> the device is an engineering miracle, but it serves Laura now. He can't wait for Laura to die. You take a look at my injuries, man. As soon as Laura dies, he's going to be like, cha-ching! I don't even get XP for returning Laura. Are you shitting me? 
I've had that quest since the start of the game. What a pointless quest. Also, these guys are pointless as well. Wayne and Najed. Have you spoken to Vera? Yes. Follow me. Can do. Oh, it was this room, the one room I haven't looted. Truly they are clearing up all loose ends. Letting me loot the final room. I'll wait here. Be cautious. I will. I was born cautious. Hey Ezra. I always skimped on the taxes with you. Not today. I'm taking your bullets. And you get XP when you turn in Terry's keycard. Oh, you're right. You're absolutely right. I, I didn't do it. I thought I could find them both. And then turn it in. Hey, he's got caltrops. There's nothing here. Maybe a light switch will actually serve a purpose for once. Oh, never mind. <clears throat> I see that. Stare at the odd picture in front of you. Its seemingly solid surface is shifting. Touch the picture. As your hand comes closer to touching the picture, Ezra's word of caution passes through your mind. Push your arm through. So your arm disappears. <clears throat> Your arm feels gone. Yeah, go through the picture. Hey! It's one of those panels! Mask fragments. A realistic human face mask. Hacking 135? Ah, oh, I bet there's something good in there. You just know there's something good in there. Could be some sort of console, but you have no idea how it would function. Great. That was a really useful room. <coughs> I see you found something interesting. I thought you were going to wait outside. I thought so too, but something drew me in. Did you know about this? No. Calling it a picture seems inadequate. What was on the other side of the portal? Yeah, a whole bunch of stuff. You know something, Ezra. Things you describe are familiar to me. Over the years, there were a few instances where I was able to peer into Tanner's mind. Faint shapes of what you described was what I saw. I was quickly expunged in every single one of these instances. Tanner's disappearance is a mystery, and I believe it's time to share your findings with the rest of the Council. I don't see why. <clears throat> Old Jonas speaks. And there it is! What are you talking about? What am I talking about? This is the moment, the moment where we can finally sit down and discuss the man, if he even is a man, who's been a mystery to us for all these years. I know we were all thinking the same of him. Yes, Tanner was a mystery. He stood out, it's something I felt as soon as I got here, but no one ever spoke about Tanner. I remember Tanner when he came to the station. I had hair and more teeth, and the epithet old was far off from becoming stuck to my name. Tanner looked barely different. Maybe it's because of that thing you saw in his room. Tanner barely aged. You people might not have noticed it as much, but I did. Tanner was clearly hiding something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least we can openly discuss him. Yeah, great. I do not disagree with anything said here. Our opinions do not differ. We need to focus on the reason for his disappearance and how that will affect SGS. Enrico Pablos has more things to reveal to us about him. You performed quite a few tasks for Tanner recently. I mean, you know, poor Tanner is a bit of a stretch, but sure. Ever since he got here, Tanner's been sending him around. Do you know anything else? <clears throat> Now's the time to talk. Yeah, I'll snitch on him. I'll snitch on Tanner. Why not? He was after the cube. 
Tanner was indeed the one responsible for the invasion. Story gets better and better. What's this object you're talking about? Uh, it's something cool. It's got strange markings. Tanner must have needed that device so badly he was willing to risk out an all-out war with the faceless. Yeah. How was he able to steal it? Someone did it for him. Yeah. Yeah. The faceless returned Laura. I forgot to tell you in the rush. She's resting right now. I know. I know. <clears throat> you mentioned you went all the way to the deep caverns. Tell us how it happened. Sure. I was following the cube. Seems like everyone wanted this object. Why did Chortis send it to the deep caverns? What do they have there? They have Chort. What is Chort? It's an ugly creature. That's a bit harsh. Uh, da, 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 da. I can hey look! I helped the Faceless fight it. With our forces combined, the creature is dead. The Faceless took care of the creature. No, I killed it. <clears throat> I wonder if it's possible for the Faceless to take care of it. Probably not. That doesn't make any sense. You've got a real pair of mighty boulders between your legs. You've seen amazing things and lived to tell the tale, but this tale presents more questions than answers, and we still don't know who Tanner is. Well, there's a thing or two I know. I met this humanoid called Ram Umbra. Oh, we're just gonna shell out his name. He said names are important. We're just gonna dish it out like it's nothing. Come on, man. Give us another choice. Don't make us snitch on Ram Umbra. Can you describe it? He's lean, tall, almost as tall as Tanner. Yeah. He's basically Tanner. Plus, plus. As tall as Tanner. Mask. He's a powerful individual. Technology he wields is far more advanced than anything, yeah. He and Tanner seem to be the same species. Ram Umbra wants to assassinate him. Totally. But Tanner ran away. Tanner's been posing as a human in order to hide from her whatever the hell it is assassin and bolted. Correct. Everything makes sense. Still don't know what he's going to do with that gizmo, but I can bet it's related to him not wanting to get zapped. Totally. I think a long meeting is ahead of us. Thanks for everything. The rest of us have a long discussion ahead. You might want to get some rest. Afterwards, you can come to my office. <sighs> they should make us run this place. Or let us run this place, rather. Let's go see her! Hey Vera, did you rest well? Yeah, I did. Do you know why I want to speak to you? No. I want to offer something. A seat on the council? Would you like to become one of the South Gate Station councillors? Why me? South Underrail hasn't been this turbulent. Shit's going down. Council discuss you and your experiences. We feel you know what you know would be of good would be of great use. That's why we offer you this position. Yeah! The respect I deserve. You don't have to answer right away. You'll likely take over some of Tanner's duties. Do you want to become a counsellor? Oh look, ends the game. What benefits does a counsellor get? A whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, I'll have to think about it. Yes, I want to be a counsellor. <clears throat> I'm sure you'll do excellent work. Now what? Now you begin. After the scrappers were defeated by the Black Eels and the Protectorate, the political landscape of the very south of Underhill changed. Ooh. Go on. Protector managed to take the next step in their plan to integrate the southernmost bastion of humanity into their fold. You can also take the train to follow Tanner. Yeah, that's fine. Our guy doesn't want to follow Tanner. 
But we go to North Underrail in the expansion. We should be able to go to that hexagon place and uh, meet them. So the protectorate <clears throat> totally screwed over junkyard. Good to know. <clears throat> Camp Hathor returned to what was considered normal, with the Rat Hound King still there. Yeah! Good for you, Rat Hound King. I'm glad I didn't kill him. The Rat Hound King saved my run. And I don't mean that. I don't say that lightly. <coughs> Being able to avoid Rat Hounds was freaking huge. Though you took care of the faceless problem, rail crossing's troubles had only begun. They had to seek help from the protectorate. The train carrying the armaments eventually arrived. Well, thank God for that. That one train. I'm real, real glad you told me that that train arrived. This allowed them to survive multiple attacks. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The Ironhead clans. Well, we killed their leader. The absence of Balor and his clan was quickly felt. The Ironheads found they were unable to penetrate. The raids ceased after a few more demoralizing defeats. Yeah! Get wrecked, Ironheads. This is what I'm talking about. We just assassinate one guy. Peace and quiet. Finally returned to the weary station. Rail crossing was faced with an important decision. Join the protectorate. We're an upstanding member of the protectorate. <clears throat> to keep their independence, or to integrate into the United Stations. They integrated. Of course they integrated. The decision has yet to be made. Oh, okay. Fair enough. With the beast dead, Foundry was able to resume its production. Foundry, we totally... I mean, there was that prison raid. I wonder if it will mention that. Though economically prosperous, the city continued to suffer the same health hazards. Well, yeah. No getting around that. No getting around that one. <clears throat> That's all we get for Foundry. Life in Core City went on as before. Uh-huh. That's fine. Classic Core City. Is it going to say Gorski took over? At least for a while. Because for one oligarch, the game got personal. Totally. The Protectorate one. Not long after Edmund was killed, an unfortunate accident befell Simonson Milland as well. The head of Cortex sent in a suicidal drone in an attempt to end Knight's life. Damn! Cortex don't play! The attempt was unsuccessful, and despite Edstrom's attempts to broker peace, they ended up in an open war, plunging Core City into chaos once again. Well, good. I think Core City thrives on chaos. I think if it didn't have the chaos, then it just wouldn't wouldn't be right. One organization thrived in this chaos, the Silver Hand, formed from the Zonerets gang, led by Gorski. Nice! Go Gorski! Who left SGS to pursue his ambition of taking control of Core City. Damn, Gorski's a total champ. I'm glad I stole his boots. With Sneaky and Dan at his side, and enjoying the general support of Zoners, <coughs> Gorski managed to establish the Silver Hand as a recognised contender. See, I'm glad I saved Dan. I even reloaded to save Dan. It was totally worth it. Help out Gorski. Despite all the pandemonium, the arena survived, and people still came in droves to watch gladiators rip each other apart. Is it going to talk about the elusive phantom? They better do. The legend of Phantom, a mysterious gladiator who came from nowhere and quickly rose to the title of Invictus, would live for years to come. Hell yeah! You know it. <clears throat> I wonder what happened to the Faceless.
Though they suffered a setback through the discussion, destruction of Epion Lab, oh yeah. The Protectorate still made a major advancement into the south when it took control of Junkyard. Yeah. I wonder if it was possible to stop that destruction. With the free drones out of the way, their operatives had a much easier time infiltrating. Yeah. I wonder if it's possible to stop Epion Station getting destroyed. The grisly fate of the three drones haunted your nightmares until the day you died. No, it was fine. They all turned into mutants. I'm okay with it. Once the Protectorate soldiers managed to crack the heavy gate and enter the Institute, they found none alive. All the bodies of the dead faceless were gone, and all the Chortists lay where they fell. Rest in peace, Chortists. Rest in peace. Except for one, Aiden's body was never found. Oh really? Following Chort's death, Harmost Stavros led the remaining Rathspores out of deep caverns. Their discarded uniforms were found in Lower Underhill, but it's unknown where they went from there. Oh, Stavros. Rest in peace, Chort. The Black Sea Expedition struggled as soon as its ships sailed into all but forgotten waters. Well, screw the Black Sea Expedition. Screw them. Unfortunately, great persistence wasn't enough for them to survive, and the native raids led to the camp's utter destruction. Well, that's a real shame. They should have shown me more respect. Mutilated bodies of sect troopers and expeditionary staff still serve as a gruesome warning. Yeah. Don't mess with Enrico Pablos. Don't put him on guard duty. In the beginning, since the expedition's arrival, the Grim Jetters mostly kept their own part of the sea. Is that a faction I didn't loot? After the expedition's defeat, they launched a series of successful raids. Nice! You go, guys. Good job, random guys I never met. An unsuccessful raid on the rig broke their stride and allowed the Black Eels to regain some control. The pirates remained a powerful force, but this game of cat and rat would persist for years to come. The Black Eels, really? Are they in the expansion? Interesting. <clears throat> With the intruders torn apart, the life of the Sermbaran returned to normal. Good for them. They started to exert more pressure on the Grim Jetters. Uh huh. <clears throat> Look, I don't care about this expedition stuff. I would have liked to do the expedition, but. Chort has tired me out. The glowing canine not only marked a spot where they never went beyond, but when they never dared approach. Interesting. Recent events had little impact on the small muty community. Good, good for those. Good for those guys. At least I interacted with them. Todd's ultimate fate remains unknown. Who the hell is Todd? As for you, you decided to take Tanner's place in the SES Council. First an emergency appointment and later through elections. Hell yeah! And then we brought them into the Protectorate. Due to your history with the Protectorate, now that Gorski was out of the way, you managed to foster a good relationship with the military organization as well as the United Stations. Hell yeah! Let's join the Protectorate. I started off thinking they were scumbags, and they still are, but that's fine. 
proved to be beneficial since the protector took control over Junkyard and allowed you to integrate into the United Stations under fair terms. Nice. We can work our way up and become President of the United Stations. Not everyone was happy, most of Gorski's followers and some neutrals left the station to join his silver hand. See, we helped out Gorski as well. One hand washes the other. Despite the role you played in his ascent, Gorski denounced you publicly and declared himself your enemy. Yeah, but that's just politicking. You know that, secretly, we were hanging out with Gorski. Having retrieved their precious artifact, the faceless retreated back to the depths. Good for them. You never discovered the purposeful meaning of the medallion they gave you. Uh, shit, man. <clears throat> I probably could have figured that out. Whatever. Whatever. <clears throat> I kicked this game's butt. It kicked my butt a few times, but I won in the end. Persistence pays. That's what this proves. Persistence pays. Try hard enough and you can cheese a game to its very conclusion. And on that note, I'm going to head off to bed. And I will catch you guys later. <clears throat> Need to put together a playlist for Underrail. And uh, when the new expansion comes out, maybe I'll uh, load my last save and uh, continue on. But we'll see. We will see. I want to hunt down Tana. They better add the ability to hunt down Tana. They thought we'll hype up Tana, and then they go, nah, you can't find him. <clears throat> but, catch you later, Jean-Luc. Adios.